What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back in the video, we got George Carlin flying live from NYC 92. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, homie. Just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to see more bangers. For me, boy, you feel me? Because the grind never stops. But hey, today, today we got some more that for George Carlin. We're very, very excited to see what else my man got in the store, bro. We got into uh, quite a few, I guess, George Carlin videos as of yet, bro. And I'm excited to get to more and more and more and more of my dog. You feel me? And if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all check out my funny videos, plus and caught up on all of my comedy reactions, all my stand ups, all of that, bro. And all of George Carlin's reactions. All on that. Y'all can get caught up on my comedy journey. So y'all can go check that out after this video. But today. Got that boy George Carlin, you know, we gotta tune in to see what you're gonna talk about with this one, bro. See, the saw the suggestion a lot in the comments, so thank y'all for all the support, thank y'all for all the love, man. Y'all know it's the road to 50k, so you know, I gotta keep on getting these bangers out for y'all expeditiously. So, very, very excited to see what this is. Let me know in the comments what is y'all top uh, five, what's y'all top five George, Car George Carlin videos or stand ups. Let me know, and let me know what y'all wanna see me react to next. You feel me? Because I wanna get to I'm gonna keep on getting to more and more and more and more. You feel me? Road to 50k, the grind doesn't stop. So I gotta keep on getting to more that dude, George Carlin. Thank y'all so much for all the support, all the love, man. Me so much. Let's get straight into it. You feel me? Guys, hey, but but this dude, man, he be spins, he be spinning a lot of facts, right? You feel me? He be spinning a lot of facts. So I'm excited to see what he has in store for this. But let's get straight to it. Let me stop talking. George Carlin flying. Let's get it. Something else we have in common. Flying on the airlines and listening to the airlines announcements and trying to pretend to ourselves that the language they're using is really English. Doesn't seem like it to me. Whole thing starts when you get to the gate. First announcement. We would like to begin the boarding process. Extra word, process, not necessary. Boarding is enough. We'd like to begin the boarding. Simple, tells the story. People add extra words when they want things to sound more important than they really are. Mm. Boarding process. Sounds important. It isn't. <laughs> it's just a bunch of people getting on an airplane. <laughs> people like to sound important. Weathermen on television talk about shower activity. <laughs> Sounds more important than showers. I even heard one guy on CNN talk about a rain event. <laughs> Swear to God. He said, Louisiana's expecting a rain event. I thought, holy shit, I hope I can get tickets to that. <laughs> he got a point. He's got a point. Emergency situation. News people like to say, police have responded to an emergency situation. No, they haven't. They've responded to an emergency. We know it's a situation. Right. Everything is a situation. That's how you Anyway, as part of this boarding process, what I'm talking they about, say, we would like to pre-board. But what exactly is that, anyway? What does it mean to pre-board? You get on before you get on? Right, like, what the fuck? That's another complaint of mine. Too much use of this prefix pre. It's all over the language now. Pre this, pre that. Place the turkey in a preheated oven. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. There are only two states an oven can possibly exist in. Heated or unheated. Nice. Preheated is a meaningless fucking term. It's like pre-recorded. This program was pre-recorded. Well, of course it was pre-recorded. When else are you going to record it? Afterwards? <laughs> That's the whole purpose of recording, to do it beforehand. Otherwise, it doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> Facts. It's not talking about Pre-existing, pre-planning, pre-screening. You know what I tell these people? Pre-suck my genital situation. He's got a point. They seem to understand, understand what I'm talking about. Anyway, as part of this pre-boarding, they say, we would like to pre-board those passengers traveling with small children. But what about those passengers traveling with large children? <laughs> Suppose you have a two-year-old with a pituitary disorder. You know, a six-foot infant with an oversized head. <laughs> kind of kid you see in the National Enquirer all the time. Actually, with a kid like that, I think you're better off checking him right in with your luggage at the curb. Oh <laughs> well, they like it under there. It's dark. They're used to that. About this time, someone is telling you to get on the plane. Get on the plane, get on the plane. I say, fuck you, I'm getting in the plane. In the plane. That's gone. That's Let gone. evil Knievel get on the plane. I'll be in here with you folks in uniform. There seems to be less wind in here. <laughs> they might tell you you're on a non-stop flight. 
Well, I don't think I care for that. No, I insist that my flight stop. Preferably at an airport. It's those sudden unscheduled cornfield and housing development stops that seem to interrupt the flow of my day. He's just spitting so much face. Here's one they just made up. Near miss. When two planes almost collide, they call it a near miss. It's a near hit. A collision is a near miss. Look, they nearly miss. I can't. I can't. What is this dude doing? How does he spit so much fast? But not quite. They might tell you your flight has been delayed because of a change of equipment. Broken plane. <laughs> tell me to put my seat back forward. Well, I don't bend that way. <laughs> if I could put my seat back forward, I'd be in porno movies. <laughs> then they mentioned carry-on luggage. First time I heard carry-on, I thought they were going to bring a dead deer on board. I thought, what the hell do they mean with that? Don't they have the little TV dinners anymore? Then I thought, carry on, carry on, there's going to be a party. People are going to be carrying on on the plane. <laughs> Look at my dog. I don't care for that. I like a serious attitude on the plane, especially on the flight deck, which is the latest euphemism for cockpit. <laughs> Can't imagine why they wouldn't want to use a lovely word like cockpit, can you? Especially with all those stewardesses going in and out of it all the time. Think about it. Think about it. There's a word that's changed, stewardess. First it was hostess, then stewardess, now it's flight attendant. Mm. You know what I call them? The lady on the plane. <laughs> Sometimes it's a man on the plane now, that's good, equality. I'm all in favor of that. Sometimes they actually refer to these people as uniformed crew members. Uniformed, as opposed to that guy sitting next to you in the Grateful Dead t-shirt and the fuck you hat. <laughs> who's working on his ninth little bottle of Kahlua, I might add. As soon as they close the door to the aircraft, not that's missed. when they begin the safety lecture. I love the safety lecture. This is my favorite part of the airplane ride. I listen very carefully to the safety lecture, especially that part where they teach us how to use the seat belts. They skip for real! Imagine this. Here we are, a plane full of grown human beings, many of us partially educated, and they're actually taking time out to describe the intricate workings of a belt buckle. That's a crazy. Place the small metal flap into the buckle. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Well, I asked for clarification at that point. <laughs> Thank you very much. Did I hear you correctly? Did you say place the small metal flap into the buckle or Place the buckle over and around the small metal Ooh. flap. I'm a simple man. I do not possess an engineering degree, nor am I mechanically inclined. Ooh. Sorry to have taken up so much of your time. Please continue with the wonderful safety lecture. <laughs> Seatbelt. High-tech shit. Ooh. The safety lecture continues. The next thing they do, they tell you to locate your nearest emergency exit. I do this immediately. <laughs> I locate my nearest emergency exit, and then I plan my route. You have to plan your route. It's not always a straight line. And sometimes there's a really big fat fuck sitting right in front of you. Let's go! Well, you know you'll never get over him. I look around for women and children, midgets and dwarfs, cripples, war widows, paralyzed veterans, people with broken legs, anybody who looks like they can't move too well. The emotionally disturbed come in very handy at a time like this. You might have to go out of your way to find these people, but you'll get out of the plane a lot goddamn quicker, believe me. I say, let's see. I'll go around the fat fuck, step on the widow's head, push those children out of the way, knock down the paralyzed midget, and get out of the plane where I can help others. You can't miss. I can give no help to anyone if I'm lying unconscious in the aisle with some big cocksucker standing on my head. 
I must get out of the plane, go to a nearby farmhouse, have a Dr. Pepper, and call the police. <laughs> the safety lecture continues. In the unlikely event, this is a very suspect phrase, especially coming as it does from an industry that is willing to lie about arrival and departure times. <laughs> In the unlikely event of a sudden change in cabin pressure, roof flies off. <laughs> An oxygen mask will drop roof down in front of you. Off. Place the mask over your face and breathe normally. Well, I have no problem with that. I always breathe normally when I'm in a 600 mile an hour uncontrolled vertical dive. <laughs> I also shit normally. <laughs> right in my pants! NYC, man, they had to tell you to adjust your oxygen mask before helping your child with his. I did not need to be told that. Right. In fact, I'm probably going to be too busy screaming to help him at all. <laughs> this will be a good time for him to learn self-reliance. <laughs> If he can program his fucking VCR, he can goddamn jolly well learn to adjust an oxygen mask. <laughs> Fairly simple thing, just a little rubber band in the back is all it is. He said he's on his own. Not nearly as complicated as, say, for instance, a seatbelt. He said he's on his own. The safety lecture continues. Every man for himself. In the unlikely event of a water landing. <laughs> Well, what exactly is a water landing? Am I mistaken, or does this sound somewhat similar to crashing into the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> Your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. Well, imagine that. My seat cushion. <laughs> Just what I need to float around the North Atlantic for seven days. <laughs> Clinging to a pillow full of beer farts. <laughs> this might be my favorite one by him. This might be my favorite one. This is me. Let's go. Let's go. The flight continues. A little later on, toward the end, we hear the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Well, who gives a shit who turned it on? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? It's on, isn't it? So shit. And who made this man a captain? <laughs> Might I ask? Did I sleep through some sort of an armed forces swearing in ceremony or something? <laughs> captain, he's a fucking pilot and let him be happy with that. <laughs> but those sightseeing announcements are any mark of his intellect, he's lucky to be working at all. <laughs> Tell the captain, Air Marshal Carlin says, go fuck yourself! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Okay. The next favorite. sentence I hear is full of things that piss me off. Before leaving the aircraft, please check around your immediate seating area for any personal belongings you might have brought on board. Well, let's start with immediate seating area. Seat! It's a goddamn seat! Right. Check around your seat for any personal belongings. This is what he talking about. The ex this is exactly what he talking, he's talking about. The extra shit they be saying. Because it's so fat. I didn't think about it because I'm conscious. I'm like, oh, he's just the boarding process. I'm like, now that he's saying all that, I'm like, wait, he got a point. Why they be so extra with all these different wordings to sound more important, to sound more professional? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's got to, like, this, is what, this is what he's talking about right now. Well, what other kinds of belongings are there besides personal? Public belonging? Right. <laughs> Do these people honestly think I might be traveling with a fountain I stole from the park? <laughs> you might have brought on board. I might. Well, I might have brought my arrowhead collection. 
didn't. So I'm not going to look for it. <laughs> I'm going to look for things I brought on board. Would seem to enhance the likelihood of my finding something, wouldn't you say? <laughs> oh my gosh. Tell me to return my seat back and tray table to their original upright positions? Fine. Who's going to return this guy in the Grateful Dead t-shirt and the fuck you had to his original upright position? <laughs> About this time, they tell you you'll be landing shortly. That sound to you like we're going to miss the runway? <laughs> Final approach is not very promising either, is it? <laughs> Final is not a good word to be using on an airplane. Sometimes a pilot will get on, you'll say, we'll be on the ground in 15 minutes. Well, that's a little vague, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now we're taxiing in, she says, Welcome to O'Hare International Airport. Well, how can someone who is just arriving herself possibly welcome me to a place she isn't even at yet? <laughs> Doesn't this... Oh Are we not going to talk about all the facts that was spit in this? Wait, we still got more, right? There's all those other seasons. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Doesn't this violate some fundamental law of physics? We're only on the ground four seconds. She's coming on like a fucking mayor's wife. So sweet. Welcome. Like, who is you? We're the local time. Well, of course it's the local time. <laughs> what did you think we were expecting? The time in Pango Pango? <laughs> Enjoy your stay in Chicago or wherever your final destination might be. destinations are final that's what it means destiny final if you haven't gotten where you're going you aren't there yet <laughs> the captain has asked more shit from the bogus captain <laughs> so you know for someone who's supposed to be flying an airplane he's taking a mighty big interest in what I'm doing back here oh, everything talk to your shit man that you remain seated until he has brought the aircraft to a complete stop. <laughs> Not a partial stop. A complete stop. Because during a partial stop, I partially get up. <laughs> Continue to observe the no smoking sign until well inside the terminal. It's physically impossible <laughs> to observe the no smoking sign even if you're standing just outside the door of the airplane. <laughs> Much less well inside the terminal. You can't even see the fucking planes from well inside the terminal. You got it, you got it, son. You did it, you did this thing. No misses. No misses. No misses. Which brings me to terminal. Another unfortunate word to be used in association with air travel. And they use it all over the airport, don't they? Somehow I just can't get hungry at a place called the Terminal Snack Bar. But if you've ever eaten there, you know it is an appropriate name. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And I love, I love his little, uh, his little, his little, his little bow with his foot up, bruh. Hold up, man. That's the video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. More videos dropping soon, man. <laughs> I care with this dude, man. I care with this dude, man. I just can't. But that's it, man. Hey, bruh. This was, it's probably my favorite one by him. This guy is probably my favorite one by him. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This is probably my favorite one by him. This is for sure. I can't. <sighs> Literally from start to finish, I was fully engaged, fully just that that was that was a great time. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. More videos coming soon, man. Much love to all y'all, man. Thank y'all for this, this this amazing suggestion. More videos coming soon. Love every single one of y'all, and I'll catch y'all next time. That boy George calling going crazy with it, man. Hey, bro, love y'all, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to see more videos. It's your boy King Supreme. I'll catch y'all next time, homies.